The Malaysian state of Penang consists of an island and a peninsula connected to each other by the two longest bridges in the country. Georgetown, Penang's capital, has become a major tourist destination in Malaysia. Some of the main attractions are its colonial architecture, its connection to World War II, and its many green spaces, which include everything from formal botanical gardens to tropical jungle. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Penang. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut to the chase. At 10, Penang Hill Funicular, Bukit Bendera. Built in 1923 and completely overhauled in 2010, the Penang Hill Railway, which has the world's steepest tunnel track, climbs Penang Hill and offers beautiful green open views over the city. While the original climb used to take around 30 minutes, it now takes anywhere between 5 and 25 minutes, the shortest time without stops and the longest if the cable car stops at the midway stations, only on request on its way to the top. Long gone are the wooden carriages with first and second class seating. Today, passengers can travel up the hill on modern air-conditioned trains that can carry 100 passengers at a time. Once at the top station, visitors can step onto viewing decks, check out a gallery, or enjoy a snack at the cafe or food court. Next up at 9, Penang National Park. Penang National Park might be one of the smallest in the world at just 23 square kilometers, but it still contains fine, very distinct habitats with over 400 different plant species. In addition to forests and mangroves, there is also a long stretch of sea coast here and timber trees lining up the white powdery sand and coastal habitat. The park is famous for its many trails, which zigzag into the jungle and along the coastline towards landmarks such as the Muka Head Lighthouse, which can only be reached by a steep trek up a hill at the end of Monkey Beach. All trails in the park have been left in their original condition, except for the addition of concrete steps and ropes in certain areas to help climbers continue on their way when the terrain gets too demanding. There's also a 250 meter long canopy walk off one of the trails, which allows visitors to step among the treetops, 15 meters in the air on a rope and wooden platform. At eight, Kekloksi Temple. Over 100 years old and the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia, Kek Lok Si is home to a seven-tiered pagoda, over 10,000 Buddha statues, and a 37-meter tall bronze sculpture of Kuan Yin, the Buddhist goddess of compassion. Around the main statue, the tallest statue of Kuan Yin in the world, there are 100 smaller statues of the goddess, each two meters tall. The temple is considered a main pilgrimage destination, and it attracts Buddhists from all over the Southeast Asia. The temple covers an area of over 12 hectares, reached after a three kilometer hike and a steep walk up a stone staircase from the top of Penang Hill. Colorful prayer halls, beautifully manicured gardens, ponds with fish and turtles, and many lanterns line the way. The lights are particularly stunning the month following Chinese year as they stay lit well into the night for four straight weeks. At seven, Batu Feringi Night Market. Open until midnight every day, this massive night market with over 100 stalls and tons of character is the perfect place to pick up traditional souvenirs, including batik prints, lacquer plates and delicate paper lamps. There are also plenty of chances to find copies of famous clothes, watches and purses brands, as well as other small treasures. Restaurants and food stores line up the streets here as well, where you have a chance to try a number of delicacies, such as Teochew Chendol, shaved ice filled with green rice jelly and coconut milk. Sounds different. At six, Penang War Museum, Bukit Batu Maung. The 20-acre outdoor living war museum in Penang sits on the former site of a 1930s British fort and gun armory. The fort failed to stop the invading Japanese army in World War II and suffered significant damage to its structure. It was later reconstructed and is now home to Southeast Asia's largest war museum and a memorial to the many men who suffered and died under occupation. The museum's main attractions are all at least partially underground, some as deep as 10 meters under the earth and include ammunition bunkers, pillboxes or concrete posts or small fortifications used to hide when firing at the enemy, a communication center and escape tunnels leading right to where the submarines once stood in wait. 
On the surface, cannons, barrack blocks and a number of photographs and testimonials bring the history of the place back to life. Visitors are welcome to explore the large fort on their own, experiencing the area as they see fit and discovering unexpected corners along the way, including walls riddled with bullet holes, a Japanese suicide vest and a guillotine stand. Nice. At 5. Fort Cornwallis Penang's most famous landmark is also the largest fort in the country. Although only one outer wall with cannons remains from the original 1786 bastion, there are enough structures left behind to give you an idea of the massive size of the original fort. Stroll through the well-cared-for green lawn to find the remains of prison cells, a chapel and a storage area that was once used to keep ammunition. A bronze statue of Captain Francis Light, who originally ordered the building of the fort, welcomes visitors as they enter through the gate. The fort never saw any actual combat and it was mostly used as an administrative point. Over the years, additional buildings and statues were added, including a steel lighthouse with a design that resembles a ship's mast. While there are small exhibits throughout the fort that explain some of its history, the space is mostly used by locals as a park to spend a quiet afternoon in the sun. Can't say I blame them. And at four, historical streets of Georgetown. Georgetown, Penang's capital city, is a stunning mix of European and Asian influences. Over the past five centuries, the city has grown into a vibrant port town and tourist destination, but without losing the unique legacy that caused her to receive UNESCO World Heritage Site status in 2008. White Georgetown's architecture is impressive anywhere. The old streets around the Lebu Ake historical enclave hold the most significance from old Chinese shop houses to British colonial mansions and clan houses to a number of temples representing several religions, these historical streets are fascinating to explore. Among Georgetown's most significant historical buildings, you'll find the Cheong Fatze Mansion, one of only three mansions in outside China built using traditional Feng Shui architectural principles and an early 19th century Chinese temple dedicated to the goddess Quan Yin. The Penang State Museum and Art Gallery, which explores Penang's past and cultural legacy, is a good stop if you want to better understand the importance of this area. The best way to explore the historical area of Georgetown is just to walk around and appreciate the rows of wooden shutters, low shop houses, stucco buildings and colourful details on the most unexpected structures. At 3. Entopia by Penang Butterfly Farm Entopia is Penang's new butterfly farm, a massive glass conservatory where over 15,000 free-flying butterflies live among waterfalls, lush tropical greenery and recreated natural features. Trails crisscross through the greenhouse, offering many chances to see butterflies in their natural element, including small caves, a wild garden, a backyard area and more. Special events throughout the day allow visitors to interact with butterflies up close and learn about unique and rare species. Entopia is divided into two main sections, Natureland and Cocoon. Natureland is a living garden vivarium that encompasses the main butterfly area, plus ponds and special areas where snapping turtles, frogs, iguanas and a number of large insects live. Cocoon is Entopia's discovery centre, where visitors can learn more about butterflies and participate in hands-on activities. This two-storey centre also offers short nature learning programmes for both children and grown-ups. At 2. Clan Jetties, Georgetown The Clan Jetties are one of the most significant historical areas in Penang, a traditional village consisting of structures and houses built on stilts right over the water. Clan jetties are a very unique type of water settlement created by Chinese immigrants in the late 19th century. Originally, they consisted of a single structure used as a sort of small warehouse where the loading and unloading of products and materials, including firewood, charcoal and boat transportation for a particular trade or industry happened. Over the years, families or clans took over certain industries and unofficially claimed a certain area of the dock, with each clan getting bigger and building more huts along the way. There are now six jetties on the waterfront, all of them still home to Chinese descendants and considered a historical reminder of the industries that helped shape Penang. While they are technically private property where families live, most of the jetties welcome visitors for a glimpse of their local temple, photos of the sunset over the water and a nostalgic walk over the walkway surrounding the stilt houses. 
And finally, at number one, the Habitat Penang Hill. The Habitat Penang Hill is a rainforest experience that takes you into the heart of the jungle and lets you truly feel all the sounds, colors and smells up close. Your first contact with nature is through the 1.6 km long nature trail, which cuts through the ancient forest, over rolling hills and far above the Andaman Sea, all of which you can see from several lookout points along the way. For an even more stunning view of the surroundings, visitors can take the Langua Way Canopy Walk. 15 meters up in the air and 230 meters long, gently curving around and through trees. Or they can try the zip lines for an up-close experience of the jungle. Or in my case, just, um, well, take the path. For those wanting to catch a glimpse of Georgetown as well as the surrounding jungle, nothing beats the Curtis Crest Treetop Walk, a circular platform with 360-degree views and the highest point on the island. Special tours guided by naturalists take place here as the sun sets, when you can see not only a stunning array of colours in the sky, but also catch a glimpse of giant flying red squirrels, bats and the Penang gecko. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Penang. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.